Discover videos are about you, me, and the challenges of everyday life. Join my colleagues and I as we talk about various topics. Last time on our episode called Someone Trained My Nanny, we talked about what we look for in a nanny. And, and my friend Doreen took us through three things, attitude, um, we need to pay them well and give them a night off. But some of us do that. We, we, we have good nannies and we treat them well. And normally, typically like me, let me talk about myself here, guys. When I get home, the first thing I ask my nanny is, Mmeshindaje? Amehula? Amelala? Muko salama. And I'll normally go, because I'm, I'm late, I'll open my son and I'll see, oh, he's fine, I'll kiss him goodnight, probably pray for him and go back to my room. But I have no idea how he was. I have no idea how he was treated when he fell, when he broke a cup, when he didn't do his homework, when he was refusing to finish his food. All right? I don't know that. But I, recently I had an episode in my house when I was in my room and my, my son was going to shower and the, and the nanny was helping him shower. And I remember hearing him being yelled at. <laughs> and I remember wearing my, you know, my clothes quickly to go and check on my son. And I found my little boy in the shower, head down, in tears, crying. And the nanny was telling him, what did I tell you? And I, I know her. She's an amazing nanny. And she's been with him ever since he was born. And now he's seven. And I know she was scolding him for what he had done wrong. And she thought she was doing me a favor because he was actually doing, doing something wrong. But how she did it was a problem. So I remember telling her, okay, let me take over from here. So the mother in me and the psychologist in me was devastated, especially the psychologist, because I knew she meant well, but she was destroying and breaking my son. Because my son's head, even his body language, his head was low and he was literally crying and crying. Meanwhile, she didn't beat him or slap him, it was words. So the nannies we're hiring and we're leaving them in our homes, they, do they know how to talk to our children? Like we said in the other episode, a lot of them are from dysfunctional homes. Yeah. They were not talked to nicely. Something happened to them for them to be nannies. Tell, talk to me about that, Benjamin. We need to know that children cannot differentiate between your nanny and you. They take all of us as adults yeah. and they take the words from ad adults for granted as they are. Yeah. And they respect them. There's something we call suggestions of inferiority. When children are told you are this or you are that or you are that, it that becomes their self-talk. Yeah. Even if the person who saved them was saying them because to them it's normal. You need to realize that you, you have said that you find your child sleeping and you assume they were taken care of. While inwardly, suggestions of inferiority are being planted inside, consciously or unconsciously, by your, your you know, domestic assistant. What I can uh, uh, suggest for nannies is don't just examine the physical care. Imagine it happened accidentally for you. Yeah. You happened to be around. Yeah. What if you were not around? That boy is uh, you know, ego or self-esteem could have been wounded so severely and you might never know it. So what I, I think Nani Temp is coming to do is, I'm sure she will tell us, teach your nanny in advance how to talk to children and how to correct them even when they do wrong. And be, because when the children are certain ages, they're also vulnerable to certain kind of words. Yeah. Like now the stage is in, is one for attempting things. If he was playing with something that was not supposed to be played with, don't yell or tell him you, or, or, or put him down. Explain how wrong it is and why it is wrong. And he might do it tomorrow after you said it. Now you have a system of, you know, a way of showing him that this is not permitted like that. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's all about training them to psychologically take care of the inner person of our children. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And to read, I want you to talk to us about where do most nannies come from? What is their socioeconomic background? What are some of their stories? I know you know them and, and you've hired many of them. Um, of course we do. Um, you know, after interviewing literally hundreds of nannies, it's um, a very similar story. Um, I didn't finish high school um, because we didn't have enough money in our home. Um, and because of that, I got married uh, pretty early. Um, once I got married, I had one, two, three children, and then my husband started mistreating me. Um, unfortunately, more often than not, that is the narrative. Yeah. Um, and so you're, by the time this person is coming to Nani Temple, even your home, they're coming first of all from um, a broken home, um, possibly a home f you know, filled with poverty, um, to a broken marriage. You know? So they're coming into your home, to be honest, with a lot of pain. Yeah. With a lot of pain, they're coming with a lot of baggage. Um, chances are 
your nanny who now uh, spoke that way to your son, chances are that's how she grew up yeah. and it was normal for her. So she wasn't doing it on purpose to hurt your child. It's just that's how we, that's how she grew up, that's how she was disciplined. So I wouldn't even hold it against her. Um, what I would say to, to, to parents is, yes, when you do come home, speak to your children. Speak to your children, ask them, so what did you do with uh, so-and-so today? What did you do with Damaris today? Did you play? Did you have fun? Um, after a while, the child will say, oh, I didn't like the way she did A, B, C, D, and then try and find a way of addressing it Absolutely. with a nanny. That's, that's a wonderful, wonderful addition. And this is what I did. I, I had a sit down with my nanny. Initially, I was very angry and I was very hurt. But what helped is I know her. I know her heart and I know she loved my son. So I had a sit down with her and I told her, this is what happened. And I just explained, as a mother, I was hurt, but I know you, I know you meant well. And I explained to her the impact those words had on my son. And she was able to see it. And I told her, and is that how you were talked to? She said, mom, that's how I was raised. And I thought I was doing the right thing. And I told her, you know what? This is not beyond repair. Let's do this. Let's talk to him. So she went and had a sit down with him and told him, you know what? The other day when I did this, do you remember? My son said, yeah, I remember. And he, she told him, I'm sorry. I should never have talked to you like that. I hurt your feelings. I am very sorry. And my son told her, it's okay. I forgive you. You're the best nanny in the world. Imagine that. Wow. And she gave him a, and he gave her a sweet. I have wow. a sweet. He is a sweet. So what am I saying? Our nannies will make mistakes. They will. And, and we as their employers have a social responsibility to help them. Especially when you have a good, well-meaning nanny. I am a Nisquise, Benjamin and I and Nisquise are partnering with Doreen to offer psychological help to nannies. If you want to partner with us, please send us an email, DM us, hit us up, and we'll be able to help your nannies come up psychologically and be able to not just take care of your children's physical needs, but also psychological needs. Because the truth is, you will not always be there. All right. Thank you, Doreen. Thank you, Benjamin. This was awesome. I'm sure you'll have a lot of feedback from this and we'll pick it up from there. All right. All right. God bless you. Share this video. Let us know what you think. Good. Goodbye.